Each time a man stands up for an ideal or acts to improve the lot of others or strikes out against injustice, he sends forth a tiny ripple of hope. Those ripples build a current which can sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. Who carries on RFK's message, legacy, and voice? I believe the answer is my neighbor, Gary Tyler. I had the unfortunate of going to prison. Not serving time initially, but being sentenced to die in the electric chair for murder that I was falsely accused of. Just imagine a 16-year-old kid back then in 1974 being tried for his life and convicted, given the death penalty, and assigned an execution date. It's been too hard living, but I'm afraid to We die. should continue to uh, push, because we're talking about the lives of people. You know, so, yes, I'm a prop, prop 62. Both Gary Tyler and Robert F. Kennedy have attempted to remove the death penalty from the justice system, deeming it unconstitutional. In this past election year, Gary Tyler worked to advocate for Prop 62. Sadly, the proposition did not get passed, and the death penalty is still a punishment in California. Both men, defenders of human rights, chose the power of compassion, not the power of destruction. You can be filled with bitterness and with hatred and a desire for revenge. We can move in that direction as a country in greater polarization, filled with hatred toward one another. Or we can make an effort, as Martin Luther King did, to understand and to comprehend and replace that violence, that stain of bloodshed that is spread across our land with an effort to understand passion and love. In order to change the culture of violence in Angola, we had to replace it with something, something constructive, something that, that would get the guy's attention to where they want to better themselves. Gary Tyler was an organizer for the ASCP, the Angola Special Civic Project. He was also an original recruiter and hospice volunteer. He was a volunteer at the Angola Hospice Program for 17 years. Gary was the president of the Angola Prison Drama Club and directed a famous play called The Life of Jesus Christ. What we need in the United States is not division, what we need in the United States is not hatred. What we need in the United States is not violence and lawlessness, but is love and wisdom and compassion toward one another. Start to understand each other. And, 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 and when that changed, then violence start to subside. In this difficult day, in this difficult time for the United States, it's perhaps well to ask what kind of a nation we are and what direction we want to move in. So I feel that whatever anyone, man or woman, go through, that they reach a point in life where they recognize that what they go through has an impact on other people and people that come, you understand, after. These organizations that they can really become a part of, that they give them give them purpose and meaning, you know, purpose and meaning in life. In the face of sadness and injustice, both men set in motion ripples of hope, but still reverberate in our neighborhoods, our institutions, and our communities. And I go By listening to the young men that come into Angola when they told me that, if there were men like me in a community when they were growing up, that most likely they wouldn't, they wouldn't be in prison. The life I lived, the life that other lived, what they went through, that it exemplifies how an individual can overcome these adversities and these challenges and how they can make a difference in their community. I am inspired by my neighbor, Gary Tyler, who carries on Robert F. Kennedy's legacy and message. Who inspires you? A long time coming, but I know 
change.